is that right now you may be using your elevator inappropriately or inefficiently and therefore ineffectively. So if you are, then it's going to be good for you to watch this video because we're going to run through the proper way to use this elevator and we're going to incorporate some simplified physics concepts that will help you to understand why we use the elevator the way that we do to make it as optimal as possible when we're using it in the mouth. So the performance of this should allow you, if you're using it appropriately, to sometimes even take teeth out without the use of a forcep. So let's start looking at some tips. The first tip that I can give you is how to properly hold the elevator. So this is a 77R elevator, and it doesn't matter which type of elevator it is, the, all the concepts I'm about to tell you still apply. So the 77R here, we're going to place in the palm of our hand. So we're going to put the handle into the palm of our hand, and we're going to wrap our fingers around. Now if you have small hands and you can't quite do this, you can get smaller handles on your elevators or shorter handles. Now the index finger will extend along the shank of the elevator and we're going to be basically applying our finger near the tip of the elevator as a point of stability and a way to keep us from inadvertently slipping as we're elevating and poking or puncturing our patient.